Yeah. This is Manoa Monthly number some odd amount. This is Manoa Monthly number 28. 28. All right. Almost, well, just over two years, yeah? Yeah. I think, I, actually, <laughs> the funny thing about that is, uh, so PM and Melee uh, both started around the same time. But what ended up happening is, like, Melee went twice a month for over the summer at one point. And so Tom was like, well, we're going to call them summer splits or something like that. And, like, the numbering system got kind of mixed up. And at one point, he was just like, screw it. I'm just going <laughs> to I'm gonna have the both be at 19. And we're every <laughs> every month from now, it's just going to be one number up. There you go. <laughs> so um, it might be, you know, the 30 or the 32nd uh, Manoa Monthly, but it is Manoa Monthly number 28. Hey, there, there you go. <laughs> All right. So quick stock um, from both ends, actually. Less than a minute and already two stocks are gone. Yeah, so uh, Zippy's pulling out the Fox. He feels a lot more comfortable. Uh, Zippy's actually have, having played against Mystery twice since uh, Cafe GG, where the, uh, Zippy's full first pulled out his Fox against Mystery's Jigs. Um, that did not go well. That that he's, went very poorly. But the, the, the two, yeah, the, the two last two times they met, um, Zippy's has done a lot better with his Fox, and I think... Uh, it's showing, I mean, his practice is paying dividends. Mm -hmm. So, um, but Mystery, I think ever since he started really concentrating on jigs and not just like screwing around with. Not just sandbagging every tournament? Well, it yeah. wasn't sandbagging. It was just like he enjoyed playing yeah, uh, Game like, & Watch or he enjoyed playing Marth. Or oh, yeah. if he wanted to play Fox that day, he'd play Fox that day. Mm -hmm. But now he's like, I want to win. And yep. ever since he made that mindset change, he's winning. Okay. Oh, that was gross. Get out. Jigs. Double up air to rest. Man, oh man, Jigs is a character. Let's let's go. <laughs> Jigs is in the game. All right. <laughs> exactly. Rest <laughs> is a move. Anyways, we haven't um, heard we haven't heard much from Fox McCloud or Jigglypuff uh, this tournament. So, or at least on stream. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that was up till rest. So here comes Ooh. the here's comes the question of. Is mystery or is Zippy's going to counterpick Falco? Or is he going to? Because that's the Zippy. Is Zippy's is a Falco. Yeah. Um, um, but he has a he has a great secondary fox. But that's kind of like if Falco plays way more to Zippy's style um, of playing, and the way he controls neutral is yep. so much better with Falco. I um, feel like he wants to take the most optimal. Oh no! Quick up the rest. Because FD or uh, Pokemon seems just so good for Fox in comparison. I think he wants to take that, and then he might, like, when, when Mystery Counter picks, he might switch over. Can Fox. you hit something other than Shine, please? <laughs> wow. I was hoping he would just go the whole stock. Just only Shine. It's <laughs> just Shining. Hey, you know? Okay, shining I'm throwing up there. As, uh, that's just the Pokemon Stadium advantage right there. It's so good. Yeah, Pokemon Stadium is such a great counter pick for Fox against Jigs. Um, though that's the thing is like, Pokemon Stadium is not the strongest stage for Falco. Yeah. So it's interesting how like Zippy's is really good on this counter pick, even though like he doesn't normally go here, like just uh, from a set to set basis, right? Yep. So okay, but he can probably get a return kill. Yep. Uh, Elliot resetting the stocks, and, um, yeah. So we might see... If Let's let's imagine a fantasy bracket. Okay. If Mystery wins, then we get Mystery versus Nakama Man, and then after that he'll play either Dirt or Firefly. Yes. So that's he's definitely playing a Fox. Yep. Uh, if he plays Zippies, that'll be another Falco, the third Falco he has for the bracket, and then... Either Dirt or Firefly. So, so, yeah. He's got, um, he's definitely, if, the only chance he'll have against a floaty, more than likely, will be if Mystery wins here. Yeah. Which, uh, you know, I'd like to actually kind of see that for, uh, Mystery versus... Though, in Friendlies, we were watching Mystery, we actually had, we were featuring Nakama Man and, uh, Mystery on stream for Friendlies before the tournament. And for those who of you who were... Oh, okay. Yeah, th those of you who are in, uh on stream, noticed that Mystery had a lot more success with his Marth really? against Nakama Man than he did with uh, Jigglypuff. I think it might just be because... It might be? It like might be because Nakama Man has a Jigglypuff practice partner. De but, definitely. Um, yeah. And also just might be, there aren't many like high-level Marths on island at all. Like, yeah. So he doesn't know the Jigs match up to Marth, whereas yeah. Marth Ditto is a little easier to mm -hmm. understand. 
absolutely. So, last stock situation. Okay. Let's um, see if Zippies can pull it out. I, if Zippies does pull it out, I think it was going to go Falco for the last stock on Jimmy Buffs down the chain, wherever it is. Okay. Oh, there it is. That's it. Game two. Here we go. Go into a game three. That was a very solid game two for Zippies. I think that he, the counter pick to Pokemon Stadium mm -hmm. really helped him out. I'm sorry. I've been really bad with the scoreboard when I commentate. So. Okay, FOD. Yeah, found a dream, so... Well, he banned Dreamland, so I guess this is probably the next best. Yeah. Wow. Already at 40%, Jig's gonna yeah, pay for the, like the, those missed up airs. Couple more lasers, up throw up airs on the table. That's the thing, is like, Mystery's uh, Jigglypuff is super aggressive. And I think that's what Nakama Man was taking, care, uh, like, taking advantage of in his uh, friendly sets. Mm -hmm. But oh, as far as, like, Hawaii players go, like, it really pays off to be an aggressive floaty yeah. in our in our region. It's just mystery just goes in. <laughs> and I think that if he just maybe played a little bit more, I mean, I hate to say it, but if he played a little bit more lame, <laughs> um, I mean, because patient and lame can be interchangeable in some circumstances. Yeah. Like, and that's that's a mo that's a point of controversy for some commentators. It's like, oh, well, if you don't like the player, you call him lame. If you like the player, they're patient. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know? Yep. Um, but that's kind of where Mystery's at, right? So yeah. if he just does a little bit more of hitting and running. Oh, no. Or just letting Zippies. Yeah, you know, let him do the Zippy special and uh, yeah. just kind of. Uh, notice, uh, shout outs to Crew SD. Um, it means exactly what you think it does. Yep. So. Uh, Zippy special right there. Zippy right. special. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. The up throw rest. So and we'll be punished with the kill. Okay. So only stock deficit for Zippies. Not totally a, doable. Yeah. He baits out a bad rest from a... Nope. Okay. Nope. Definitely not happening. Oh, respect is back. Blue with a 